is. Please welcome Dev Patel. Looking great, looking uh, slim and stylish and sexy Skinny and ready to and take on the world. and big eared, yes. Well, uh, Dev, let me ask you, let me just ask you, how old are you, first of all? 18. 18 years old, wow, well, how great are you, 18 years old? I know, I've been growing this stubble for like two weeks now. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> well, legally, you can drink and stuff here in the UK. I can, here in the UK, I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I've been over promoting the film in LA and I can't do anything. You can't, so, yeah, because yeah. it's 21 over there, isn't it? 21. That must be weird. Um, okay, Slumdog Millionaire. Uh, I've seen the movie, I saw it with my family. We all adored it. It's a great movie. Have, have you seen the film yet, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> What a, what, a, what a charming, what a dramatic, what a moving and what a touching movie it is. Uh, congratulations to you and the team behind it. Um, and I saw you at the BAFTAs last week, of course. Yeah. A great night for the movie, for all of you. Awesome. Uh, you must be enjoying this moment. This success must be... <laughs> it's, must be... it's surreal. It's an amazing rollercoaster. I mean, I watch the BAFTAs year after year on TV, on my couch. And, you know, to just be there on the carpet, and, I mean, everyone's chanting my name. And Did you expect that? Did you expect... I didn't, I didn't. And then I was, on the, I was on the red carpet, right, and Sharon Stone was there. And um, I'd done an interview with Sharon Stone, me and Sharon Stone, and I was like, oh, my God, can somebody please slap me? And then the next minute I know, wallop, Sharon slaps me. <laughs> and, yeah, so, and I got Did you say, So you said it out loud and she just... Yeah, yeah, she just whooped me on live television. She's nothing and... if not obliging. <laughs> just don't ask her to cross her legs when you're sitting opposite on the US. <laughs> uh, so that must be exciting. Were you there? Who were you there with? Who did you go along to the BAFTAs with? I brought my whole posse, my mum, my dad and my sister. Oh, yeah. perfect. And they must just be over the moon. They must have loved it. Talking about Sharon, um, the pre-BAFTA party, um, I brought my mum along and um, she, um, I introduced her to Sharon and um, they talked for like ten minutes and then she went telling the whole family that she talked to Sharon for half an hour and <laughs> they're great friends. And we saw her at the, the after party and she's calling Sharon, Sharon by her first name and like, they're the best of buddies and neighbours and things like that. Oh, but that's crazy. so sweet. Yeah. Your mum's just getting used to it, but at least that's <laughs> uh, Your parents, I guess, did they encourage you to act? Did they support you in the acting? Yeah, um, I, I was 16 and my mum saw this open audition in a newspaper while travelling to work. And she sort of dragged me down to it, and that's how I got into Skins. Which so is that was your first big job? Yeah. And had you, uh, were you studying actually before that, or you, had you decided... Oh, yeah, that I, was, was I was in school doing my GCSEs, and I took drama as another subject with, I think, ten other subjects. So, so you weren't at a proper drama school or anything? No. no. Wow, so the, what a lucky break, and what a... Obviously, it was your talent that shone through, but lucky that Mum saw that advert. Yeah. <laughs> Did she know what kind of show Skins was going to be before <laughs> she took the... <laughs> Not really. Um, Jane Ripley, the casting director, said in, in the last audition that it's a bit racy, and there might be a bit of strong language... And the next minute I know I'm watching it with my mum, my sister and the whole family. And I'm, I'm naked. I'm just naked. And well, what was happening in the show at the time? When, uh, when <laughs> 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 oh, obviously, that's good. But you, uh... Um, <laughs> obviously, so you, so you, you, cos you, you did quite a lot of nude scenes, didn't I you? I did. Um, I, yeah, I didn't really know how to approach that, really. I mean, one of my first scenes was with this... In the second series, I met this girl called Sketch who's a new character, and my first scene with her was a, a naked scene. And so the first time I met her, I was on set and we were both in our bathrobes, really nervous, and I was like, um, hi, Amy, I'm, I'm Dev. Um, we're going to be getting naked now, we're doing the scene. So you shouldn't sound that exciting. Yeah. Doing... <laughs> <laughs> that was me trying to be nervous. Like, yeah, but, um, I see, yeah. yeah okay. It was a weird icebreaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that must be. <laughs> uh, do you like watching yourself on screen? And, 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 and if you know people are watching you naked, is that, is that awkward for you? Of course, okay, yeah. OK, let's have a clip now, then. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing to worry about. He's a fine figure of a young man. <laughs> <laughs> Great drama. Did you see the fluff on my... Yeah, yeah you were just going there. <laughs> um, let me ask you about Slumdog, because uh, here's a movie which, uh, from fairly um, inauspicious, fairly humble beginnings, has now become... It's, it's a world-beater. It's a huge mm. film. How did that story come about for you? How did you get involved in that? And also, filming in India, what was that like? So I stumbled into Skins, as you know, and um, so I was just doing that. Didn't know where to go next. And Danny Balls, I mean, Danny was casting the film and he wanted an all Indian cast. And he couldn't find that out there because, the, I mean, to get into Bollywood, they got some great actors, but they're all really buff and butch. Yeah, because they make yeah, the big, well, the, singing and dancing is a yeah, big thing. But at the same time, the action movies are big in Bollywood. Yeah, yeah, they? yeah. And they've got to be able to whip off their tops and get under those waterfalls and do all those dance sequences yeah, and things yeah, yeah. like that. And obviously, <laughs> my character's not that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, so. Um, yeah, um, he, he, was, he was struggling looking for the, the lead man and then he came back to London and his daughter was watching me on Skins and she goes, Dad, why don't you give this boy a go? 
And um, they called up the Skins guys, and they're like, we hear you've got a boy called Dev Patel. Um, could we give him a crack? And that's how I got into... So it was um, just a, kind of a lucky coincidence, really. Yeah. That she was, she, yeah. And presumably, when people are out there, I mean, you, do, they, do they know that you're from England? Is it, I mean, obviously not speaking the language of big thing, but just the way you are, the way you carry yourself, is it yeah, kind of... That clear? was the hardest part, because, I mean, when I walked the streets, no matter what I wore, if I didn't wear... A, even if I didn't wear a big, bright red Nike T-shirt, I would still stand out when I walked on the streets. I would still get weird looks, and I would just stand out, had this aura about me that said, I'm a foreigner. Yeah. And why is that, you think? What was I, it? I don't know. And then, so what I done was I called up Danny, and I said, I'm not happy, and it's not going to turn out right, this character. Please get me down there for a week. So this was New Year's Eve. I went down, and literally, I just walked the streets by my hotel and got lost and got a rickshaw back to the hotel. And um, I guess, I mean, Mumbai moves so fast. I mean, there's 20 million people in this city. In that one city, it's yeah. incredible. Yeah, and it's so chaotic. But at the same time, everyone moves so slowly, they're just... There's this freedom there, and there's this sort of, you know, they're soaking up the sun, and everyone's so relaxed. And um, to get that, you know, because when you're sometimes walking down the street in London, everyone's got their briefcases, and they're on a mission to run to work, and you can't look at someone for too long in case you might offend them or something like that. And in India, you know, you can do anything. You can jaywalk, and it's just it's that, that sort of freedom. That, um, uh, and uh, what's you know? the, let me ask you what the food is like there, because I've never been to India, and I'd love to go. And over here, I love what we call Indian food, yeah. but I understand it's not quite the same as the food you would get in, in India itself, where, <laughs> of course, it's just called food, but yeah. it's, uh, it's <laughs> slightly different <laughs> than the curries we get here. And, and yeah. so on. Is that I mean, here, these are, the, these are the rubbish curries. Down there, when they've got, like, a, a vindaloo or something chilly, it's really... It'll Red burn hot. a hole in your ass. I yeah, it's well. that bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, how long were you in, uh, in India for, uh, in total? Making um, I think the shoot lasted for four months. It four started, months. It's yeah. a big chunk of your life. Uh, and did you, did you like it? Did you, would you go back there to stay? Would you ever like to live there, do you think? I would. I mean, going there, I was really daunted, I guess, because I was 17. I mean, I was coming from a small character in Skins and being thrown into this chaotic city and the lead character in a Danny Ball film. Yeah, big, big and deal. And it was a lot of pressure. And it's, I mean, you just fall in love with it because, I mean, we're humans. And if you like humans, then you're going to love it there because there's just so many people there. And well, I mean, a what a lovely philosophy. Yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, it's, it's simple, but it, I mean, it sort of makes sense. I mean, I went to the slums for the first time. Now, what is, what is that like? Are they, because you, you get the feeling, I mean, we only ever see them really on the news here, and I don't yeah. know whether we get the, the full story. Yeah, on the news like... and, and on those sort of um, charity adverts, those ad adverts, I've got nothing against them, but um, I had this sort of preconceived notion that slums were in barren land, out in the middle of nowhere, and you, you know you see this malnourished, poor, sickly child, yeah. And you think that's what it's going to be like, and you generally pity them. And really, they don't want that because when I mean, generally in Mumbai, the slums are they call them colonies. I mean, I went to this one slum called Taravi, which has a population of two million people, in that and one... they, each person in that slum can hold a vote, so they're very powerful, so they're not totally neglected. Obviously, they don't have the best sanitation facilities and things like that, yeah. but um, there's just overwhelming sense of community, and everyone knows everyone in that slum, and they're all working together like one big molecule to make their slum a more functional place. And they're survivors, you know, I mean... So in a way, it must be quite a vibrant, exciting yeah, place to be, as well as there yeah, being, you know, this, difficulties. There's this beautiful, cheeky banter going on, you know, because everyone knows everyone. You see the kids teasing the adults when they're walking past, and it's really fun. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you about the movie itself, uh, the, some of the things in it. For a start, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, which forms the kind of... The, God, that, that is a big, big hit show in India as well. It's massive, yeah. And that's not the host. The guy in the movie, it's, it's Amitabh Bakshan who actually hosts yeah. it in, in I India. I mean, that really. guy's Anil Kapoor. Right, who's another uh, very talented yeah. and well-known actor. He is. He's, um... He's massive. He can't walk the streets. And, um, yeah, he says it really funny. Who wants to be a millionaire? And I'm like, I knew it's a millionaire. Millionaire! <laughs> OK, we'll just leave him to it. But um, the actual real host is um, a guy called Amitabh Bachchan, and he is... He's kind of a movie star since the 60s, No, he's a he? mega star, yeah. and he's, I mean, he's, a, he's the biggest star, and he can almost be a politician. Wow. And um, he goes on to to host a, a game show, yeah, yeah. you know, a movie star. And people, um, what I heard was people would go on to the, be part of the audience and they'll just stare. And hopefully when he's doing his auto cues, he'll, he'll you know... Look around. Look, yeah, and, you know, click eye contact with these people and they'll think, God, I'm with that, I've looked at me, I've got a blessing. And, yeah, so that's how, you know... Hold on a second, let me just send a bit of blessing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Now. <laughs> I wish you hadn't. All those I wish you hadn't made me do that. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you. Obviously, I don't want to uh, make you jinx yourself here, but um, uh, how do you think the movie's going to do at the Oscars? Do you know? Because you know, it's done so well up to now, and of course, it's a, it's a whole different crowd voting now and, and watching it there. Yeah. How's it gone down in the states? How do you think that will pan out when it comes to the award night itself? I mean, it started off at the states. I mean, at one point, the film was going to go straight to DVD, 
um, because Warner Independent folded. Oh, really? Yeah. And, I mean, there was no hope. And then we, we took it to, like, the Toronto Film Festival and a few other film festivals in the States. And through word of mouth and people getting talking, it, it brought it to the attention of Fox Searchlight. And from there, there was just, I know, this just catalyst. And all of a sudden, it became the slumdog millionaire. And, I mean, I guess it's a, the generic sort of underdog story, which everyone wants to see a boy or a girl or whoever rise from nothing and achieve something amazing. And uh, they really were taken to it, you know. And it was really different because, I mean, there's a lot of films that have come out this year, which are, I mean, they're amazing, brilliant performances. It's been a terrific but year this is, yeah, but this is one of the ones that it, which is uplifting, you mm, know. Yeah. You well, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's, as you, you're right, it's a human story, and there's, uh, but, that, but also they're lovely characters and uh, terrific performances in it. Uh, and everything just gels, and it? it really is a yeah. lovely, lovely movie. Congratulations. It's been an absolute joy having you on the show. How lovely to meet you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dev Patel. <laughs> Thank you.